Hey everybody, welcome back to Inside the Bottle TV. I'm Sam, Jessica's back. Hey guys. Welcome back. Thanks Sam. Nice to have you back. So glad to be here. Everyone bring it in. Everyone, Group probably, everyone probably thought she went missing, but she really didn't. I didn't die, hence I'm here. Obviously. So, but, what's up? Uh, but Jess is back, which is awesome. I'm excited for today's episode. Me too, Sam. It's Thanksgiving almost. It's Well, Halloween's coming up first. It's October 24th. And uh, we're actually closer to Halloween than we are Thanksgiving. But we really wanted to do a Thanksgiving episode, but I forgot the skeleton in my trunk. No, he <laughs> means he really wanted to do a Halloween episode, but he forgot the skeleton. Hence Whatever. why we're doing the Thanksgiving episode. And what goes great with turkey? Wine, of course. Yeah, of course. What do you got? What do you got here for us today, Sam? So we have Beaujolais, Chateau de Jarnou. Beaujolais, Beaujolais, Beaujolais. <laughs> <laughs> and so we want to try out this Beaujolais. I had it at a wine tasting recently. Um, the producer is Albert Bichot, who is a Frenchman, and just as all the other Beaujolais out there. Uh, this one stuck out, and so we're gonna get inside the bottle. Perfect. It's been a while. For you. For me. As I was <laughs> gonna say, it's, wait, it's wait, only been like 20 didn't minutes. You text me earlier and say that you're not gonna drink. Yeah, but then you talked me into coming <laughs> on to the episode. I was supposed to be behind the camera today, mind you, but here I am, folks. I'm back. Yes, I should probably <laughs> fill my glass. Yeah. Since yours is, I mean, look at her. Hers is full and mine's still empty. This is, uh, we But got what's issues. that tell you, folks? We got issues. What's that tell you? So, Chateau de Jarnou, 12% alcohol. Um, Albert Bichot's family dates back to 1214. That's a long time ago. Yeah. Wow. And early 1990s, I believe, Albert took over. And uh, he has, well, actually, his real name is not Albert, it's like Albaric or something like that. I can't really pronounce it in French. Um, although Sam doesn't I am, speak French. No. That's not one of his talents. Not yet. Uh, but I am <laughs> planning on taking some French classes for a change. But I can't find any like classes in Portland that teach French. So comment below, please, if you have an awesome uh, either tutor or some sort of online class that Sam can take. I'm Put sure me to he work. Would. He would love uh, love your help in that. Yes, I would. Just in pronunciation, because <laughs> I butcher it most of the time. But that's okay. Wine that's is fun. wine. It tastes delicious. Why don't we uh, get into the aromas of this one? Why don't we? Ready, guys? It's not a white wine. It's red. It is red. <laughs> Just in case you were all wondering. I'll let Jessica spit out the first word that comes to her mouth on the nose. I mean, I think it smells kind of like dirt, Sam. I told you, it's, <laughs> it's, it's earthy to me. I, get, I just get like, you know. The earth. The earth. Mother nature. The earth. And it's beautiful fruit that she produces. I get strawberries. <laughs> Hence the fruit that I was just talking about that came from Mother Nature. Yeah, I get strawberries too. Strawberries, raspberries, almost like gamey aroma. Like kind of meaty. I don't know. Gamey? That's the first thing that came to my nose when we first tried it. Well, there is a deer. There is a deer. On the top of this bottle, on this little, what, what do you call that? Is that a crest or it's just Maybe a... you're supposed to drink it with like venison or something. It Could is it hunting season Could as well. Be? So for those of you that are looking to maybe change up your Thanksgiving meal, substitute some venison in for your normal turkey. Yeah, and typically during Thanksgiving, everyone runs after Beaujolais Nouveau, which I believe typically is released on November 14th or one of those dates right around then. And it's like a sweeter wine. I'm not a huge fan of Beaujolais Nouveau, but I love Beaujolais. Um, and I especially like this when I tried it at the wine tasting. So. Shall we take a sip? I think so. Let's do Time. it. Cheers. Clink. Mm. No spitting today. We don't have a bucket. And everyone hates when I spit. No, like, we're swallowing today, folks. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Jessica, 
just... And it's good. We're going to have to beep that out. <laughs> so, again, going back to... You're not beeping that out. Spitting. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you going to make me blush? <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Maybe this was supposed to be a date night episode. Oh, God. Just kidding. Um, so, anyways... Um, back to the wine. Every now and then I hear like people randomly call me and are like, I hate when you spit the wine or it sounds weird and maybe that's because I'm laugh packed up. But to be honest, the reason why I do that or a lot of people do that is so we don't consume so much alcohol as we're trying through so much wine. So typically when we go to wine tastings and trade shows and events like that where there's a lot of wine that we have to try through, there's always a bucket there and we spit the wine out. And so on the show, I always decided to spit the wine so I don't get overly intoxicated and do dumb things. Like talk about swallowing, but I'm not intoxicated, folks. I apologize. So anyways, that's why Sam usually uses a spit bucket, but we don't have that Yes, yeah, so sorry for the slurping noise. Too. We're at Cloudport. Um, again, back at beautiful Cloudport here. We're yes. so happy to be filming here. What an awesome um, place. Shout this, out to Nick, by the way. Yeah. And Josh, who's on a plane to Bogota, Colombia right now, and Nick is somewhere in uh, France playing ball. Good luck, guys. So uh, here's to you guys. Thank you for letting us use your place. We Cheers. appreciate it. It's really cool. Can't wait for you to get back, Nick, so we can do another smooth wine episode. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Kyle will mock you by adding a smooth counter in to the episode, so that's Kyle, not me, bro. Um, anyway, so the taste of this wine. I do. Wait, did we just drink it and then just start talking about yeah, it? Yeah, we got way off of, uh, way off a of track. We apologize for that, mm. folks. But, so the wine's delicious. Yeah, the wine's awesome. There's a lot of fruit. There's a lot of like, it's almost like mashed fruit, sweet fruit. You definitely taste the strawberry though. That's the first thing I you feel taste the like that hits, hits the tongue. It hits the tongue and it also, um, there's really no complexity to it. There's just like a few layers of fruit. It's really smooth, easy to it's drink. It's very easy to drink. Very easy to drink, especially when you're eating food during Thanksgiving. You don't want to get like, you don't want to have something too heavy and you want to have something light. That's what a typical Beaujolais is. No, because you, you want to be eating copious amounts of food. That's what Thanksgiving is all about, gluttony people. So, you know, you have to have a nice light wine to counterbalance that right and uh, the color that I noticed on this wine is a little darker than normal Beaujolais that I've seen before which is kind of really crazy. yeah typically Beaujolais are just a little lighter than this but that just may be me like a pink not really a pink but just slightly lighter like almost like a lighter like a light Pinot Noir and welcome to Jess being back on the show, folks. Who knows nothing about wine, but enjoys but drinking right. it with Sam. Cheers to that. That's what we're doing. So, <laughs> again, one more sip. Talk about it again. No tannins. So, the back palate, I don't know if you get this, but I get just a little bit of spiciness. I'm not, I'm not getting that, Sam, but... I get it. Again, you're, you're the professional No, here, I'm not, not a me. professional. That's the beauty of this show. Is none of us are professionals. Probably most of the people watching the show are as curious about wine as we are. That's why we uh, do it. Le curio. Le curio. Is that French? <laughs> I don't know. I guess I need lessons too. Comment below for lessons. Anyways, again. Beaujolais. 10 bucks, 12 bucks. It's not expensive. It's an awesome addition to your Thanksgiving. Go to your local store. Find a bottle. Albert Bichot is the producer of this one that we enjoyed today. Again, it's uh, called, I'll let you pronounce it this time. Beaujolais Chateau de Janou. 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 And uh, it's so. beautiful. It'll dress up your table, your guests, your family, friends will definitely enjoy it. Good wine, good company, good food. Isn't that what Thanksgiving's all about? That's what Thanksgiving's all about. So, awesome. It's a wrap. I think so. All right, guys. Don't forget to like us on social media, guys. Comment below. We're on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. You know. Yeah, we're all all, all damn social things. And we do this for you. <laughs>